What up guys, it's Jesse again with Vintage X. We're gonna do a quick little walkthrough of kind of my setup and what we do day to day um, as far as our uh, process and how we start things. So what we have here first and foremost is going to be our water tank. As you can see our water tank right there, it's, it's, it's a nice size, it's 100 gallons. Get, gets us through the day, especially those busy summer days. Um, we also have, let's see, what do we have here? We also have our, our gas tank. That's to fuel our big propane tank that we have right here. Now this is a Duramax 10,000 EH. This thing right here could power a house, so um, it's a total overkill, but you know what, we love it. It's been with us since the beginning. Um, we also have right here, it's gonna be our 1700 PSI um, Craftsman. Um, that's going to be our pressure washer. Now that one's electric pressure washer. We find that 1700 is more than enough power to get the job done, especially when there's other dynamics coming into it like hand washing, clay bar treatments. That's pretty much all we need. Um, it also comes with a Milwaukee wireless um, transfer pump. So that's going to be transferring all of our water to our pressure washer. And that's going to be all the power that we need to kind of get that pushed through. Um, we also have a range of different products that we have here. All of them are, are premium products. Um, we also have a shop vac. We have extension. And then we have um, some tools right here just to kind of help us, you know, if the propane, um, if, our, if our generator goes down or anything like that. Um, it does take propane and gas, so, you know, it might have some issues. You know, we might need to tighten some stuff up. So we'll go ahead and use those tools for that. So Jesse, how did you get your van set up anyways? Like, did you get the idea from a YouTube video online? Was it recommended or did you make the setup yourself? Uh, my setup is completely custom um, to my liking. Um, I know there is a lot of uh, copy and paste setups and those are super awesome. Um, a lot of them are higher end um, equipment and that's super awesome. Um, just mine's was just kind of fitting to our lifestyle. We are in a busy city. Um, you know, there is some cars passing by frequently and stuff like that. We might need to, you know, um, turn off the, the pressure washer and stuff like that. So restarting with the pool just didn't really work for us. Um, we found an electric pressure washer. It's one button on, one button off. Super easy, super simple, and that's how we like to keep it. Um, everything here is, like I said, totally custom. Um, I made the backboard myself. Um, you know, the stuff that holds, you know, our, our little, you know, tools that we have and, um, miscellaneous items um, everything here is totally custom perfect and how much did this setup cost in total uh, van included so the setup that we have here um, I'd say it ran anywhere between um, the higher rate to about twelve thousand um, dollars that had a that played a major part in the quality of van that we used the engine uh, stuff like that as well as you know um, the more higher end generator uh, pretty much fail proof and stuff like that um, even our even our transfer pump um, it is wireless it's a click of a button it comes in a battery pack that thing alone costs about 600 bucks so I mean the stuff does add up but um, it does add a lot of convenience and it saves the headache perfect and let's see so the brand uh, would you say name brand is the way to go for this you know larger equipment like the generator or can you get the cheap stuff? What's better? So name brand is definitely the way to go. Um, I'd, I'd recommend that. Um, if you guys have any questions, visit Vintage X SoCal and I'll answer any questions that you have in regards to that. Just uh, DM us on Instagram. Um, well, what we find is, you know, name brand always works, but definitely shouldn't stop you from setting up your own home detailing um, area, space or it shouldn't stop you from getting out there and um, actually doing this job yourself. Um, you can always start, you know, like I always say, you know, um, start with the basics and then you can fix it first. So you want to launch that business first and then you can critique all the extras. Perfect. And what was the biggest headache in this van setup? Or, you know, maybe inconvenience so far? Um, we don't have many many um, major inconveniences. Uh, about, you know, a few months in, we're, we're pretty much able to kind of execute and see what we had problems on and uh, go ahead and cor correct that. So um, what I'd say the biggest hurdle that we have is the oversized tank. Not always do we need it, but definitely good to have. Um, a headache would definitely be just the weight of the generator. The generator does take about two guys to pick it up. Um, just to make sure that you don't hurt, hurt yourself or any of the other techs. Make sure that you guys stay safe. 
Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much a big headache for us. I mean, it would be awesome just to kind of downgrade, which we will. Um, it's just that this thing is just so uh, dependable that, you know, it was hard for us to leave it. So why did you choose this setup above all the other possibilities? Because, I mean, this is a pretty good sized van. You have a lot of space to work with. Um, what was it about this setup that, you know, made you choose this one? Um, I definitely see um, a lot of different setups and stuff like that, even when they are done professionally. Um, the thing that I see a lot of the major setups um, lack is space. Um, definitely wanted to have space, 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 that's, and you know, be able to kind of grab, grab and go, grab and go, put it back, really simple. Nothing that we have to dive in and go scrounge through a bunch of wires. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we uh, focus on that. Um, we have enough space here to grab anything that we need. Everything is easily accessible. I could go here, grab a battery pack, put it in, grab a spray bottle, put it right back. Everything is really accessible. So that's kind of um, the name of the game here with us. Perfect. And if you could do it all over again, would you still go with the setup or are there any kind of alterations you would choose? Um, I'd say the first thing that I would do to change my setup if need be, um, would definitely be downsizing the generator. Don't need the big, um, that big size for the applications that we're doing. All we're doing is running a simple machine, um, vacuum, and also you know a polisher. So I just don't see the, um, the need for this big size. So I would say I would do that um, just right off the bat, just, just getting a good quality portable um, generator, uh, specifically like Honda or something like that. But then again, we could recommend that to you guys on any of our social media platforms. All right, so what is the next big upgrade for your van or next big piece of equipment that you plan on doing? Um, the big upgrade that we're gonna be doing to the van is gonna be the vehicle wrap. Um, anybody in Los Angeles that does vehicle wrapping, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We're gonna actually need a number of vehicles uh, wrapped. So we are gonna be doing um, vehicle wrapping, just get a little bit more advertising out there and stuff like that. It never hurts. It's good to meet new people every day, so uh, we'll definitely upgrade that way. Perfect. And has your van ever broken down? Has my van ever broken down? Um, there was this one time in the valley, um, our van did break down. Um, I think it was the alternator, if I wasn't mistaken. We had a AAA come out, come take a look at it. The thing is about this oversized van, um, that it was hard to kind of get somebody out there to tow it from the valley back to Redondo Beach area. So um, we ended up having it, having, having to sit there for I'd say about a night to the morning and then we actually went and purchased it ourselves and me and another tech we did the install right there it was just in a residential neighborhood stuck right there it wouldn't start so we went ahead and um, took that part apart and then we um, went ahead and got driving again um, that day that it did turn off we actually did have to go to a client's house in an uber so uh, we oh, paid wow. yeah we paid we paid for an uber to go out there and actually go see the client we grabbed what we needed good thing that our Pressure washer is portable. We picked that up, grabbed the extension cord, some products, threw it in the back, and got the job done. Wow. And so, would you say the van is the heart of your business? Um, I'd say the van is uh, the heart of the business. Um, you do need something to travel from here to there. Uh, doesn't mean that you need a van. Um, you can have a pickup truck. You could start with, you know, SUV. As long as you got some magnets on the side, uh, you know, some business cards telling people what you do and also having some um, good products, some nice portable products for you, uh, equipment, and then uh, you'll pretty much be good to go. All right, so Jesse, what is your advice for someone just starting out? Um, how do you think they should start? Should they get a brand new van, something used, uh, not anything mobile? What's your advice on that? Everything depends on your budget. Um, make sure ahead of time you do establish a budget First it comes with the idea, the passion to spark that idea. The next thing you wanna do is, uh, you know, check your budget. You know, um, you wanna make sure that you go by uh, certain rules when you do uh, start a business. You don't want it to be past 50%, so I'd say about 30% of, of your savings um, should go towards the business. You need to also save for emergency funds and stuff like that. But I'll definitely say, um, if you need to start use, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, do that because, you know, at the end of the day, you wanna see if this thing is also something that's gonna be lucrative for you. Um, you know, so that plays a big part of it, but definitely um, it could be used, it could be brand new. If you have the budget for that, or you know, you have clients established already, you're looking to upgrade, well don't be afraid to go out there and you know, invest in yourself and make sure that you get yourself a good uh, vehicle that's gonna get you to and from these uh, high-end details.
Okay, you guys, it's Jesse with Vintage X. That's my setup. I hope that it was very helpful for you guys. Thank you guys for joining us. It was really awesome. If you guys have any questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know down below. And also reach us at Vintage X SoCal. We'll be, we'll be there to help you out. Any questions that you guys have. And that's it for this one, guys. Peace.